Hey guys, Mike here from AffiliateMarketerTraining.com and I wanted to make this quick video just to run by a, a general outline that I put together for this training program I'll be creating. Uh, some of you have been yelling at me for a while to get this training program created. It's going to be completely free, but it's going to be a ton of work too. So uh, I wanted to run this by you guys just to see if there's anything you'd like to see included, if I'm leaving something out, if there's stuff included that you don't think would help. And I know I'm scrolling through this really fast, so uh, well, let's go through this a little bit slower, okay? So planning and starting with an introduction, just tell people who I am, why the course is free, along with an affiliate disclaimer to say, you know, hey, this course is free, but uh, I do have some affiliate products uh, within this course that I'll get paid for if you sign up. Um, which then goes into, you know, the course is free, but how much is this actually going to cost you? When all is said and done, if you go through my entire training program and sign up for all the products that I recommend you sign up for, uh, how much is it going to cost you in the long run? Um, some secrets that I'm not going to tell you. Um, I know some of you don't want to hear this, but the most successful affiliate marketers generally do have some secrets that they're not going to tell you about their business, maybe a specific niche that they're involved in um, or, or something like that or, or a special partnership that they can't uh, really give you information about due to non-disclosure agreements or whatever. So I'll go through some of the things that I will not tell you and why I'm not going to tell you those things without getting too specific, obviously. Uh, setting realistic expectations. Finding out if affiliate marketing is really for you um, in a, a general overview of really what your job is going to be as an affiliate marketer, just your day-to-day -day tasks, assuming that you are successful and you're working on your affiliate marketing business every day, what exactly is your job going to be? Um, and, you know, there's a lot of different ways to succeed as an affiliate marketer, so I'll just be focusing on my business and um, sort of how it's become successful and what my job is. Uh, basically every day as an affiliate marketer. The next step, we'll get into niche creation. So what is a niche? How to come up with a good, uh, I guess a, the proper way to say it is niche, isn't it? So niche creation, what is it? Uh, how to find uh, a good niche? How to do market research on your niche? Determining monetization potential and coming up with three different ideas. I always recommend people come up with three different niche ideas and then narrow that down to one after you've done all of your market research and all that. Uh, so I'll be going through specific examples. Uh, dog food reviews will be based off of my real world site, dogfoodinsider.com, where I'll show you some of the keyword research that I've done on that site and how I determine articles to write and how I decided to even make that site in the first place. Uh, but I'll also go through a couple new ones too. So for example, San Diego travel. Uh, I live in San Diego, and so I've always thought about maybe making a site on San Diego travel. Um, I also have here in the parentheses on all these um, what my monetization strategies would be, what sort of services and products I would work with uh, to, to monetize that. So San Diego travel, and then way more specific than San Diego would be... Uh, a site specifically for Petco Park, which is where the San Diego Padres play. Terrible baseball team, but it's a phenomenal stadium that a lot of people like to travel to uh, from out of state. So uh, that would be cool. Uh, I go to almost every game at Petco Park, so that would be pretty fun to write a site about that. Uh, so we'll get into researching that as a potential niche. Uh, and then, of course, how to narrow down um, to the best niche. So that also ties into keyword industry um, research or keyword keyword research and industry research, uh, which sort of ties along with SEO or search engine optimization. So I'll get into uh, what are keywords and why are they important? What is SEO? Sort of uh, tell people what that is. Uh, how to actually perform keyword research. And here we have our first actual uh, paid product purchase, which... I will recommend probably, I, I use a few different keyword research tools, but in this course, I will probably recommend that people sign up for Longtail Pro. Uh, and just so you guys know, that's, um, I think, 
I get 30% of that, and it's a uh, recurring thing. So if somebody stays signed up for uh, Longtail Pro, I'll get 30% of the recurring commissions, which I think it's like 30 bucks or something for that service. Um, let's see. And then also how to create a website blueprint so that you know every page that you're going to be writing along with every keyword ahead of time, probably like a hundred different pages minimum. Um, so I'll show people how to do that. And then of course, once you have the blueprint all set up, you've done all this keyword niche research, take a breath. If, you're, if your niche is not what you thought it would be, if there's not gonna be enough monetization potential or after doing keyword and industry research, you've learned that uh, maybe it's just too competitive, it's not exactly what you want to get into, go back to the drawing board. I'll, I'll try to you know tell people that that's an important step as well. Uh, so finally, we'll get into the, uh, the real meat of it here, which is how to set up a domain name, what is it, what makes a good no domain name, uh, and how to find an available domain name as well as register it. So that will be another paid product which this will tie into uh, web hosting. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be recommending Bluehost for probably both the web hosting as well as registering the domain because you can do it in one package. It's super simple. Um, most of my domains are actually hosted at GoDaddy, but I think I'm just gonna recommend, especially for brand new people, to sign up for the domain name as well as web hosting in the same place, which will be Bluehost. So what is Bluehost, or I'm sorry, what is web hosting? Uh, good web hosting services and who I recommend. So I'll actually let people know a few different web hosts. But in the end, when I show you how to set up web hosting step by step, uh, this again is a paid product and it's gonna be through Bluehost. So hopefully the idea is that people will click on my affiliate link to Bluehost to register their domain uh, and set up their web hosting as I show them how to do that, um, which I'll get paid instead of getting people to pay me up front. Uh, and this is really where I'll make the most of my money on this course because web hosting, um, I get 65 bucks for everybody that signs up for a web hosting plan that starts at like $3.99 a month or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also I'll show people how to create a domain specific email address uh, and forward that to your Gmail account if you have Gmail. Okay, so next would be setting up WordPress. So what is WordPress, why I use it, uh, how to develop it. Bluehost, this is one of the reasons I'm picking Bluehost. They make it super easy. It's literally like one button that you have to press and it installs WordPress uh, with a lot of different theme options and widgets and um, uh, things pre-installed to make it real easy for people who are new to building WordPress. But I'll go through detailed tutorials on how to set up everything, including your first page, how to set up menus and things like that. Um, the next section will be content creation. So how to write great content specifically for the internet. It takes a, a certain type of finesse to write for both uh, search engines, uh, well, I guess social media as well, uh, along with human readers, uh, bots. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider when writing content specifically for the internet. And fortunately, it's a whole lot easier than having to write for like a textbook or even a magazine or newspaper. I, I think writing for the internet is great. So I'll show people how to specifically write for the internet my four steps to content creation that I've been using forever called CTPM. I'll get into that. How to optimize your content for on-page SEO so it's actually found by search engines and a proper internal linking on your site because that's very important for SEO. A lot of people overlook that. Then I'll get into link building and other SEO tactics, the difference between white hat and black hat SEO, difference between on-page and off-page SEO, what link building is, a warning about link building, which I hope people heed, uh, because link building can be very dangerous, and just different types of ways uh, to build links that I'll get into, the, the specifics of each of those. Uh, next section, 
additional traffic getting methods, how I obtain the vast majority of my website visitors, hint it's through Google, how long it takes to grow organic search traffic, email marketing, this is another paid product, uh, I'll probably end up recommending Aweber for, uh, for email marketing, probably not something that people need to sign up for right away, but hopefully I'll still get some commissions from that, and uh, again, it's, it's a recurring commission, I think like a 30% recurring commission every month or something like that, it's, it's actually pretty good. Um, and other ways on how to get traffic through social media, YouTube, and how to repurpose your content so that you can share that on multiple platforms. Then monetization strategies, setting realistic expectations on how long it's going to take to make money, how to find affiliate partnerships, and specifically high paying affiliate programs. And since Amazon Associates and ClickBank are such large affiliate programs, I'm going to be going over some special things to consider when using those. Uh, how to develop a good affiliate partnership, specifically if you have an affiliate manager, and additional ways to make money from your site uh, in addition to affiliate marketing, which having your own product or service can end up being uh, even more profitable than affiliate programs, so uh, that's something I'll go over as well. Okay, so uh, ongoing affiliate business strategies, what to expect in your first 12 months, refining and optimizing your site over time, what to do when you do start making money, outsourcing tips and tricks because I love to outsource things in my business by, by reinvesting earnings into having other people doing work for me, uh, and then how to scale and diversify. In other words, uh, stick with the winners, learn how to scale up the money that you're already making on a site that's doing well, and then how to diversify either your current business or creating more sites in different industries and a different niche so that you can diversify your site even, or your, your income, your business even more. Uh, then I'll give some final thoughts, uh, a bonus section where I'll show you guys inside my sites uh, a breakdown. I'll probably specifically get into Dog Food Insider as well as affiliatemarketertraining.com. I'll be going over my revenue. I'll be going over my traffic sources. Uh, I'll dive into Google Analytics. And uh, that actually reminds me, I should add a section on that, on setting up Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Hmm, I wonder where I can put that. I'll have to put that in here somewhere, because that's pretty important too. But anyway, I will show you all of the stats for these sites which have been running for years so that'll be pretty cool to look into the three or four year history and the growth of those sites and, uh, and how I've really grown those up over time. Uh, and then I'll have a motivation section as well. I'll create a video on the lifestyle that affiliate marketing has provided me with since, uh, well, I mean, I started in 2009, went full time in 2011. Uh, so I'll kind of show where I've traveled and, and some of the things I've been able to do because of affiliate marketing. And then I'll show you a bunch of books and videos and things, uh, sort of a, a self-help section, things that I have found interesting and that have helped me to grow over time as well. So I'm guessing this is going to be about 100 videos overall, somewhere in that range. Some of them will be longer than others. Some might just be, be a few minutes. Others might be, you know, a half hour long. Uh, but that is going to be a lot of work. But... I think it's needed. We don't have a good, honest, free affiliate marketing training program out there. So um, let me know what you guys think. Am I missing anything? Does this look like something you'd be interested in? Um, you know, is it overwhelming? Am I missing too many steps? Any feedback you guys could give me would be great because I don't want to put in all this work if it's not really what you guys are looking for. So. Uh, what do you think? Uh, if you're watching this and you've made it all the way to the end, I would really like your opinion because I don't have a ton of subscribers on YouTube yet. So if this affiliate program, uh, training program came out, what do you think? Would you sign up? Would you go through this? Would you be willing to click on my affiliate links if I asked you pretty, pretty please? Uh, and so I, I don't have to charge people ahead of time to go through the course because that's really what I want to do. Um, 
also these products you know are, are actual products and services that I use for the most part web hosting I don't really use Bluehost I use WP engine but that's um, way more expensive than brand new affiliate marketers need to sign up for so uh, these really are products and services that I believe in so hopefully people will see that and uh, and I can make some money on the back ends after creating this course uh, so anyway that's all I got for you guys this time. If you have any thoughts, let me know. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I'm shooting for maybe three or four weeks to create all these videos and start getting them up there. Um, and maybe I'll provide a place for, you know, early access for those of you that want it. Um, okay, that's all I got.